story adventures here. Um, getting uh, Arctic front through in uh, uh, we had like maybe six inches of snow on the ground yesterday when I plowed um, or two days ago when I plowed it was like the heavy wet stuff and kind of compacted after a few days and then uh, last night I plowed it was like 16 degrees Fahrenheit last night and uh, we had another foot of snow when I plowed and we maybe got another three inches and we're supposed to get we should get uh, possibly six to twelve more today I'm gonna see if the tractor's gonna start, and uh, I gotta make sure I keep them my wood. Unfortunately, my wood piles are starting to get buried in the woods. I've been I've been working so much, haven't been keeping up with the wood. My son Ben's been helping, but uh, we're gonna have some fun today. I took off today because my daughter's in town, and uh, we're gonna have some fun today. So check this out. It hasn't stopped snowing. For at least 24 hours now and we got the winds and stuff but uh, it's supposed to uh, we live on the, the snow belt area by Lake Ontario and the Lake Ontario never freezes so uh, we get the warm Lake Ontario versus you know, and it comes on land and it just dumps the snow down. And some of the places on Lake uh, Ontario have the records in the United States for the most snowfall in 24 and 48 hour period, Plaskai, and places like that. Uh, so we go uh, any places along the lake. Lake Erie is shallow, so it freezes up. But Lake Ontario hasn't frozen over, just like Superior is so big and deep. It very rarely freezes over. But... Here in Ontario, we get the snow all winter long, yeah, but as the lake gets colder, it's not as dramatic as it is now with the first cold spells and so on. But I'll probably try, it's deep enough for snowshoe, and I'll put, throw my snowshoes on, go back to the wood piles, see if I can find my wood piles, and my gas, and my, uh, and my chain, barn chain oils. I know I left it by this tree, so let's see if you can find that. And make sure I don't leave stuff out. Or at least I know where I put it or else I'm not going to find it until spring some winters. Because some winters you don't see the ground for quite a few months. Four, four months. I remember a kid not seeing the ground for a, a long time the entire winter. So uh, we're going to have fun today. It's going to be exciting. And uh, of course being an outdoorsman, I love this stuff. A lot of people, I'm not going outside, it's cold. I'm like, I can't wait to get outside and... Do some wood and check out the woods. Maybe you see some deer tracks. Uh, you gotta love the outdoors. Do this. Right now it's uh, two degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't too bad. Lake Ontario also keeps us warm. If you go to, to the northern part of New York State, up in uh, where the lake effect isn't affecting, you can get 30. I was up there once years ago in 1978, snowmobiling up in the Adirondack Mountains. It was 43 below zero. Fahrenheit and that was with no wind chill. It was actually 43 below zero With the mountains there you have those valleys where the cold air just settles and the trees are popping those so cold the bark Contracts and it lets off like a shotgun sound you could hear that all night and the next morning only one was snowmobile started and None of the cars started so we stayed an extra day <laughs> But it, that was a lot of fun, but I got frostbitten a lot <laughs> Because I wasn't being wise but all right here we go I'll see if they can get the tractor started so I can plow the driveway again if it doesn't start oh well what can you do I got all wheel drive I uh, did a bunch of wood piled it got the tractor started did the driveway play afternoon I have some fun now I'm actually gonna do something I want to do I do some snowshoeing and uh, Break some trails for the deer and make it easier for them to walk through. I got some backwoods uh, snowshoes. They're pretty good. Got I've had them for a number of years, never had a problem. Of course, if you're winter mountain climbing, or if you're just going way back, I go for the Sherpas. The Sherpa um, snowshoes are the best. 
and they've fallen off a few times when we're going but we strapped them back on but uh, as far as safety one of the guys bought a metal frame one like these and um, it broke we're like eight miles in it's like six or seven feet of a pack snow and of course the top was fluff so it was really rough for him um, the rest of us were smart <laughs> and had the Sherpas but uh, we, uh, I just strapped this on my head and go in the back now and break a trail for the deer and you can see what's going on here with the weather uh, I've been outside all day I love it it's probably like four degrees right now not bad perfect weather when you're moving around 